Okay, so today is shoot day. I've organized for a gorgeous Japanese English model called Maya. Um, we're all set up. Um, what we've got here is, I'll show you around what we've got. So first of all, we've got our strobe lights. Okay, so this is actually a 60 inch beauty dish by Len Carter. First area is the white uh, linen bedding. We've got several props. It's Valentine's Day, so we've got roses. We've got um, a black scarf to go over the eyes. Um, red silk um, throw, I suppose, that will go over the body. Japanese pleated skirt. Japanese uniform. A lollipop. Massage oil. There are props. Okay, um, this will be a second area where we'll be doing a sitting shoot. Our third area here, we'll be doing out the window shoots. Um, we can open that like that, so we can get the benefit of the window. Um, and the third area is actually where the strobe is at the moment. When Maya arrives, I'll introduce you. Um, if she's not too shy, she's not too keen on all this um, videoing stuff. Um, but we'll see. So I'll let you know later. This time I put my glasses on. So it's a Godex AD300 Pro. Okay. Um, that is used by this here softbox. Um, that will get elevated right up, come down on here, or onto here, or into there. Okay. It really will light the room up that is powered by this go uh godex trigger okay so we'll just turn that on see how that's powered on i've got it set to 1 16th okay we're going to be using the sigma art 50 millimeter um this is a brand spanking new lens never actually used it before so i'm super psyched to see how that comes out um and uh, yeah i shall show you how it all goes okay everybody i'm back uh maya has now left the building we had a great four and a half hour shoot it was absolute nightmare to organize uh first of all i broke my camera so we had to wait for that to come back then i um bruised my rib really quite badly by slipping in the shower um so i put myself in a world of pain that was no fun at all especially after the medication that the uh, doctor gave to me they were super strong they did not agree with me so i had quite a lot of bed rest after that um, and then we both had to have COVID tests just so we could organise a shoot together um, in a close proximity. I feel that's the only fair way to have a COVID secure workplace as it were. So in the end, um, we put the mood board together. She agreed and disagreed on some aspects. She brought along the clothing that I wanted um, to achieve my goals. And she brought along her uh, modelling styles, her personality, um and it all worked out quite well we worked in a very limited space so uh, getting the lighting correct was really quite a challenge um and i opted just to use my smaller beauty dish which is only 60 centimeters um so it doesn't offer a great deal of light especially with 300 watts being thrown out um and again as i say you know we're working in close proximity so to actually get the angle of the light right that was really quite challenging, but we did achieve some great shots. So that is great news. Um, I have got another shot uh, lined up that I'll be bringing to you uh, quite shortly. That's a street shoot. Um, and then I've also got um, a cityscape lined up um, that I'll be showing to you. Something I've wanted to do for quite some time now. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be bringing loads of content to you. Um, I am new at this and I am trying to find my way of delivering great content to you. Now, what I'd like to offer to you is if you've got any ideas for a shoot, maybe a picture that you've seen, 
throw it over to me, okay, and let me see what I can do. Let me see if I can go out, find a model, and then put that together and then give you that image. That would be a fantastic challenge for me to bring something out to you guys. So anyway, I don't have a lot to talk to you about at the moment. What I will do um, in the coming sessions is show you exactly the processes of how we source a model, um, what we do when we find the model in order to deliver our expectations to them, um, the business end of the camera, then the post-processing end, and then how it all comes out in the end. Um, so we've got lots to discuss, so I don't want to throw it all in right now. Um, just one word of advice to you, if you ever invite a model around to your house, Hide your snacks. She ate me out of Pringles. She ate me out of M&M's and my lollipops. Okay. Um, <laughs> quite funny. Um, she's a fantastic model. If you want to find her, she's on Purple Port on the Maya Chan. Okay. Um, that's for any London-based photographers. So for the time being, um, it's great bringing uh, my first shoot to you, even though it's, I think, what, 15 seconds clip. Um, but it's been great fun. And I'll catch you in the next video. See you later.